An apex predator, also known as a top predator, is a predator at the top of the food chain. It has no natural predators of its own, but you could argue that this term doesn't really make sense. The natural world isn't very black and white, and sometimes so-called apex predators are preyed upon. Young crocodiles are sometimes picked off by other predators, and old or sick lions can be taken down by hyenas. There are very few animals that are true apex predators, and almost all predators can be predated on at some point in their life cycle. In this video, I will be going through just a few of the most famous examples, and I will be going over some so-called top predators that are often predated on. For our first species, we can head to North America and Eurasia, as we have the brown bear. The brown bear is one of the most widespread large mammalian predators, and across its distribution, it has quite a few subspecies. One of the largest subspecies in North America is known as the Kodiak bear, and one of the largest in Eurasia is the Kamchatka brown bear. These bears are feared across their range by humans and animals alike, and very few creatures will mess with these predators. Their diet varies with the different subspecies and areas in which they're found, as some brown bears mostly feed on plants, and others consume large amounts of meat. Of course, these bears love feeding on fish, and they're very skilled salmon fishermen. If given the opportunity, they will feed on larger prey, and they'll target undulates such as elk, moose, and caribou. And in some rarer cases, they will even target wolves and black bears. Large adult brown bears have little to fear, and sometimes they even target man. Because of the brown bear's size, power, and reputation, you may assume that it's an apex predator. Across most of its range, this may be true, but it's not necessarily the case in East Asia. This is where the brown bear can come into contact with another top predator, and this predator is the Siberian tiger. The Siberian tiger is a subspecies of the mainland Asian tiger, and it's mostly found in Russia and China. This tiger population was almost completely wiped out, but thanks to conservation efforts, they are slowly recovering. The Siberian tiger is the largest mainland Asian tiger population, and this means that it can prey on pretty much anything it wants to. It views almost every animal as a food source, and very few creatures can take this animal on and survive. The Siberian tiger mostly feeds on deer and boar, but in some rare cases it will feed on other predators. Siberian tigers and brown bears will sometimes fight each other, and the tiger doesn't always come out on top. When tigers hunt brown bears, they usually go after young or sub-adult bears, and it's thought that brown bears make up around 1.4% of their diet. In a few recorded cases, bears have shown no fear towards tigers, and they will even actively track them. A report from 1973 describes 12 known cases of brown bears killing tigers, so really this predator-prey relationship can go both ways. You could argue that it's incorrect to call either of these creatures apex predators, but they are among the most impressive predators on this planet. For our next species, we will be heading into the world's oceans, as we have the great white shark. The great white shark is possibly the most famous species of shark in the world, and it can be found in all of the major oceans. It will feed on a wide variety of marine mammals such as pinnipeds and dolphins, and they will even target other sharks and seabirds. Even though shark attacks on humans are extremely rare, the great white shark is one of three species behind most shark attacks, and it's feared all around the world. It can be a very terrifying sight to come across this shark in the wild, and it's often the last thing that many marine creatures see. Even though the great white shark may seem fearsome and undefeatable, it does famously have one natural predator. The orca is one of the few true apex predators, as only man has really hunted this predator. Even though there have been no recorded orca attacks on humans in the wild, to many people they are still quite terrifying creatures. One of the things that makes them so impressive is their intelligence, as they've come up with many creative ways to catch their prey. In some cases, they will knock their prey off of sea ice, and in other cases, they will drown or ram their prey. These animals are such impressive predators that they can actually be picky with what they eat. In some cases, they will only kill whales to eat their tongues, and they will only kill sharks to eat their livers. Orcas will work together to kill and eat great white sharks, and it appears in some areas that great white sharks fear orcas. 
The arrival of orcas in an area can cause great white sharks to flee, and they will look to forage elsewhere. For the sharks, this seems like a very clever thing to do, because when it comes to predators on this planet, nothing compares to the orca. For our next species, we can stay in the oceans, but we will mostly be sticking to coastal waters. That's because our next species is the bull shark, and along with the tiger shark and the aforementioned great white shark, the bull shark is one of the most dangerous and aggressive sharks in the world. This species is often found in warm, shallow waters, and in these areas it feeds on a wide range of prey. Their diet mostly consists of bony fish and small sharks, but they will also target stingrays, turtles, birds, dolphins, and terrestrial mammals. The bull shark is an opportunistic feeder, and it will take a bite out of a lot of things that it comes across. It's thought to be the culprit behind the Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916, and these are the shark attacks that inspired Jaws. The reason the bull shark is thought to be behind these attacks is because of the bull shark's special ability, as it's able to venture into brackish and fresh waters for a long period of time. This is why some shark attacks happen in freshwater rivers, and this was the case for some of the Jersey Shore attacks in 1916. Even though the bull shark is often seen as an apex predator, when it enters fresh and brackish waters it can soon swim into trouble. In places such as Australia, Asia, Africa and North America, the bull shark can run into other predators. In Australia and Asia it can be picked off by saltwater crocodiles, and in Africa and America it can be targeted by Nile crocodiles and American crocodiles. These reptiles are more than happy to pick off these so-called apex predators, and really they stand little chance. For our final species, we can head to South America, as we have the Black Cayman. This crocodilian is endemic to South America, and it is one of the largest members of the alligator family. It can reach a maximum length of around 6 meters, and it can weigh up to 450 kilograms. This size means that it has a lot of power, and it uses this power to take down large fish, as well as large mammals and reptiles. It is one of the top predators in South America's wetlands and rivers, but famously it has to compete with a feline predator. The jaguar is a very large and stocky cat, and despite its size, it's very elusive. It has an incredibly strong bite, and instead of going for the neck like some other cats, it often delivers a fatal blow to the brain. The jaguar and the black caiman often compete with each other, but the jaguar usually has the edge. Famously, the jaguar will often target caiman species, and this even includes the black caiman. Unlike some of the other inclusions on this list, this predator-prey relationship is actually quite common, and the jaguar will actively seek out caiman. As well as this, it will also target other top predators such as the anacondas, and this just goes to show that the jaguar is the true king of South America. If you think you know of any other predators that could have made it in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.